My name is uh, John Sponicky. I suffered from Guillain-Barre syndrome. There were uh, a lot of hallucinations I had about death, but I'd be laying in my uh, hospital bed and out of the right corner of my eye, there'd be like a black mist. And I just knew it was him and I was always trying to not look at him. Two years ago, John Sponicky literally stared death in the face and barely survived an extreme case of Guillain-Barre syndrome, the worst recorded case in Ohio's history. Yeah, I was uh, in the hospital for a total of uh, 89 days between uh, the Mount Carmel East and the OSU Medical Center from October 31st to January 20th. Guillain-Barre syndrome is a neurological disorder that affects roughly one out of every 100,000 people in the United States each year. It causes the body's immune system to attack the peripheral nervous system. It starts with a tingling sensation and weakness in the arms and legs. These symptoms increase in intensity until the muscles are rendered useless and the patient is effectively paralyzed. Yeah, I was uh, pretty much only in the hospital f for uh, Guillain-Barre for about 19 days. The, the other 70 was just recovering uh, mentally and physically from and the uh, allergic reactions I had uh, from all the medications. At any given time, John was on a varying combination of medications and painkillers to cope with his disorder, all of which he was having allergic reactions to. The Allergic reaction with uh, Dilaudid is the hallucinations. Anyone who is allergic to opiates and then given a strong opiate like Dilaudid would have uh, really terrible hallucinations. So I was constantly hallucinating, not being able to really tell what was real and what was fake. Due to an extreme case of pneumonia brought on by his weakened immune system, John's lung collapses. He is rushed to OSU Medical Center's intensive care unit where he is hooked to a respirator. Meanwhile, doctors, unaware of his strong allergic reaction, continue to administer Dilaudid. There were a lot of hallucinations about death. I would just lay there and like a black mist kind of thing would appear in the corner of my right eye and uh, somehow I just knew it was death and he was just telling me that it was my time to go, that uh, I had to say goodbye to everybody. Damn. When doctors finally discovered John's allergies, they stopped administering all medications. Soon after, he began months of grueling physical rehabilitation and eventually recovered. Today, he walks without so much as a cane, nearly a year ahead of doctor's schedule. However, John's near-death experience forever altered his view on life itself. Well, before the hospital, um, I really didn't have any motivation at all. I graduated high school with a 1.98. I don't even know how I got into uh, Ohio University. And I was going to pretty much fail that quarter until I got the Guillain-Barre. And uh, then after the Guillain-Barre, I kind of realized that I needed to straighten up my life. I needed to graduate, maybe get a real career. Try not to worry about Bob Evans the rest of my life. I started uh, kind of relishing every day, making sure every day counts. Uh, I almost died a lot of times in the hospital, so I consider this pretty much, uh, I'm on overtime. 